Hello, Green Light the Day family. Um, I hope everyone had a great weekend. It was wonderful weather here, so I really got a chance to be out and I really enjoyed the weather, which got me to thinking about some things. Um, you know, when you reflect and discern and then become intentional about things, I got to thinking about <clears throat> something that I heard almost 20 years ago about global warming and climate change. And um, now knowing that what was talked about is actually happening, that now there is no turning back. Um, it was predicted that there would be a lot of flooding, a lot of unseasonable weather. And if you've noticed all the flooding that's happened in the world just in the past couple of weeks, um, and some places that haven't even made the news, like Africa, um, but definitely Germany, um, France, southern United States. Um, and even if you walk along Lake Michigan, there's these poles that kind of tell you like how high everything is. And uh, they're probably only about a foot away from being over over, over that the top of the pole. And I got to thinking about it because there's this movie that I want to see that talks about you know, instead of being down and upset about what's happening to our planet, and, and now that we're at the point of no return, even major, more major things are going to start happening. Um, Hurricane Sandy is just the beginning of what's going to be happening in the New York area or the East Coast. <clears throat> the movie talked about, instead of being down about it, what are the other things that we can do? Um... But I do want to reflect on what this earth means to me. I, I realize now um, that I am a part of this earth and this earth is a part of me. And there's no way to, to deny that. When this earth hurts, I hurt. You know, I may not have been in Texas when there were some severe rains, but I hurt when I saw on the news that a mother of two drowned in a, in a flash flood. Those are hurts that are across our psyche, no matter where we live. Or when I see people trapped in, in France, they, I mean, it just weighs heavy on my heart and it, it makes me reflect that we are all so connected. And then a part of that reflecting is discerning what have I changed since the 20 years when I first thought about global warming? <clears throat> and I remember because I was in uh, undergrad and um, we were having these classes and discussions and, uh, you know, it's, I just know that I can do more. And that's a part of the, of the discerning of our lives. What can we do more? Um, because we... We're at a turning point now, and our children, and even us. So um, we've already reached the first tipping point, right? And so the next 15 years will be the second one. Hopefully, I will still be alive. We will all still be alive. What will our life look like then? So I want today to be, um, and this is a way to greenlight today whenever you're watching this video, whether it's June 5th, June 6th, whatever day you're watching it, I want this to be the day that I intentionally want to do something, I don't know what, that I can look back and 15 years from now when we are trying to find ways to live above water or whatever it may be. I'm not trying to be a doomsday um, person, but I am trying to think about the seriousness of it because I just can't ignore it anymore. I want this to be the day that I intentionally said, I'm going to up my game. I'm going to do something even more intentional um, so that I just, I feel that I've done what I can't, what I have to do to be a part of, of, of nature and to let the spirits know that I am hurting too and I am and I'm sorry that I took this earth for granted, and I'm sorry that all the people um, who have died or who, whose livelihoods are gone um, because we didn't take seriously what so many people were saying. So the good thing about this is that um, this being the day that we can intentionally say, what are we going to do different? Um, you know, in the Chicago area, there are no more plastic bags. 
So when you go to the store, you either get a paper bag or you get a reusable plastic bag that you have to buy. And it's amazing because remember those plastic bags were everywhere. They were flying in trees. Well, in Chicago, you don't see them ever. So um, um, one of the intentions I want to have is to keep reusing those plastic bags um, the reasonable ones, the ones that are still around over and over again, and to be intentional about bringing um, the paper bags and the um, grocery bags that are made from material every time I shop. Another thing that I want to intentionally do is cut down more on not eating meat. Uh, I think I'm down to eating meat only three, four times a week. Um, and one of the things I'm going to intentionally start doing is buying organic meat. And for me, that's a biggie because organic meat is very expensive. Um, but I have to start making that effort not to buy meat where animals are housed and the methane gases are even creating more and more damage to our ozone layer, which is disrupting the heat, which is causing all this flooding. Um, I, one of the things I want to be intentional about is talking to people about the earth. Um, and these are good things because then we realize that we are a part of the solution. No matter what you do, whether it be, you know, just using a plastic bag, not going shopping for an entire week or not eating meat a week a day or something that, you know, intentionally makes you a part of the solution. And I think we can carry that on beyond um, global warming or climate change or climate chaos, whatever people are calling today. That whole mindset will transcend until every part of your life, every part of your life is going to be feeling earth. It's going to be feeling the connectedness of each other. And what a greater gift than we can give each other as, as, as green lighters than to say, I am connected. I love earth. I love you. And also it's an update to my, um, your beautiful experiment, um, from last week. I don't know if you guys remember every person I saw in my mind, I was going to say, you are beautiful and I'm still doing it. And, um, <laughs> my thoughts have been trying to push it back. Like, are you kidding? That person looks mean. Um, but I'm still saying in my mind, you're beautiful. And maybe that's why I'm feeling the way I am about the earth because, man, I was sitting underneath the blue skies today and the cool breeze and I almost wanted to cry because I've taken this earth for granted. So I just wanted to share this love of the earth that I have with you. And I hope as you go throughout your day, you think of this week, one day this week, to set an attention to feel this earth and to um, really be a part of the solution. Um, have a great day and um, just, just show more love to yourself and everyone else. Talk to you later. Bye.